My life, I feel good about myself. All right, forced repetitions are the reps that you have to struggle for. Without those, you're wasting your time. I don't want to be bulky. Can I increase my lean muscle mass without getting big? What's the difference though? Why is that, you think? Well, one, because I guess it would have to be. You know, but right here, I like what I'm. You should track like your progress and not simply try to eyeball your gains. Okay, you need something you can't more go anymore. And then when I when I'm with you, like my numbers are always higher because you you know how to push. Come along me. and help out. So to keep your synergies strong, your pull up, push ups, and dips is going to be. I used to OD. I used to OD. I used to OD. Man, what is up and what it do? Y'all know who it is, man. The coldest host in the city, Mr. J. Rose. And y'all already know, to my left, your right, the baddest trainer in the land. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The beast mode shelf. So, man, welcome back. Y'all already know, man. When y'all just see myself and y'all see the shelf, y'all know it got to be something different. It's going to be deep, huh? It's going to be deep. It's just me and you. It's deep, huh? You know it's going to be something. Alley-oop. Off, off the glass. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's get it. Five. Yes, sir. Brought him from the, the LeBron up to the leg back up. Let's go, man. So welcome back. Part two. Behind the apron, the special. So let's go back and get everybody caught up for the people that missed it. If they missed part one, let's catch them up. Mm. So then when they see part two, they'll know Absolutely. where we're going and how we're going to get there. Absolutely. Let's get it. When you when you stuck in with, like when you know you're supposed to be doing something else and you're not right. doing it, right. that's gonna cause some pain. Right. And that pain is really to motivate you to get up, and move. You know what I'm saying? Well, then you're gonna have some pain because because your vision and your mind is here, but you're living right here. Right. That's gonna hurt. And you either gonna suppress that pain or you're gonna run toward that pain and deal with it. Now, now, now men, most most you guys out there, you can ask yourself this question: When you start turning forty, shit get real. And this is what I mean by shit get I real. Agree. All right. When you start turning forty. You look back over your life and you say, did I do the things that I said I was going to do with my life? Mm -hmm. At least that's what I asked myself. Right. At that time, couldn't nobody talk me through what I was going through. That was something I had to figure out on my own. Okay. And what I mean by that, because I was searching for what my what was I created for. I knew I still had to go somewhere else. Ooh, now remember, if we were on, I told you that I walked off my job in Maryland to come to Atlanta. Right. Why is it that it's 20, well, what, 16 years later, I'm at the same crossroads? Mm. Gotta go, gotta go. Mm. I went into the scientific approach of why was this working. Okay. So then I got to understand how the body works and why my method was proven. Boy, mm. we, 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 was just, we was just getting into it. Mm. I'm talking about it. It was uh, mm. it's getting, getting interesting. I could watch that again. Yeah, man. The whole hour clip. I could watch that again. The whole hour clip. And what's crazy is because we had so much feedback. Mm on that whole video just mm. the simple fact that i think um a lot of people know you as the trainer mm. they know you as the chef mm. but the simple fact that we actually sat down and gave mm. them that insight to make make you who right, you right, are right. and got chef. you to Absolutely. the point that you're at mm -hmm. um like i said man that video every okay. like i still go back and watch from time honestly i Great. really do i go back and watch from time to time just to you know sometimes like especially at the part where you said when you hit 40 Mm. You got to start questioning, absolutely, and realize like, oh, yo, like, what have I done? What am, what is my, what is my purpose here? Yeah, what am I supposed true, to be doing? Indeed, like, wh and, why, why am I existing? Exactly, part, yeah. exactly. True. And so it's like mm. only like I'm 38, you know, but it's still mm. like when I heard that it really resonated mm. because then it was like, okay, you you've been doing certain things, but mm. what is really your main purpose? Like you testing uh, out different things, but what is your main purpose? So let me ask you this: you, you 38. Right. Have you started feeling that, that pain yet of you not living in what you were born for? Most definitely. That pain going to come. Most either definitely. You, either you're going to suppress it. Right. Or you're going to feed it. Right. And if you suppress it, you're going to have to take that to the grave. Exactly. Mm. And it's also, I think, more so of the whole not knowing. That's the biggest. No, I think that's the, the, the biggest part that a lot of people mm. struggle with. Not knowing it's, what their purpose is? Not knowing what their purpose is. You probably is. already do. You probably know. You, just, you haven't figured it out yet. It's been there the whole time. I agree. Yeah, it's been that whole time. I agree. And I yeah. think I've I've finally mm -hmm. realized it and that's where I'm right. headed. And that's why I'm on the path that I'm on now. And right. I'm comfortable with it. True indeed. You know what for, I'm saying? For, for me, 
I knew what I was feeling, but it helped me when I started to understand other people was feeling the same way. Okay. And, and this is what I this is what I mean by that. Um, you said that. Have Have you found that purpose yet? Or are you still I, no? That I purpose? found it. You found. I found. It. Mm. Was it there the whole time? It's been there. I just didn't recognize it because I didn't know what I was looking at. Mm. And at the same time, truth be told, even though we don't want to admit it as people, mm -hmm. but it was more so what others would think about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And if it would be accepted by everybody, more so of this is what I want to do. I don't care what nobody think. I'm going to go out here and do it. The people that's going to like it, they're going to like it. They're going to rock with it. The people that don't, it's cool. Right. right. It, but this is what I'm comfortable with doing. I understand. And so now it's like, I don't feel like nobody can step step in front of me to stop what I'm, what I'm doing and where I'm going with what I'm going with. Oh, sure indeed. It's probably been there the whole time. Yeah. It has, yeah. It has been there the whole time. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. But we, we, we don't, we don't sit still long enough to hear it. It's been there. True. But you got to sit completely still. And I don't mean sit still in your chair. Right. You got to sit still in your mind. If you sit still in your mind long enough, it's going to, it's going to be revealed. I agree. But we don't, we don't, we don't do that. And some agree. of us don't know how to do that. You know what I mean? And then when you do figure it out, it might hurt some people. You might have to let some people go that you're not ready to let go. And if you're not ready to let that person go, then you're not ready to stand in your truth. It's, it's going to be true. tough. But so, anyway, go ahead. So with that being said, when you quit your job, mm -hmm. when did you sit still in your mind to know that it was time for you to quit your job and, and, and start on this journey? When it hurt me to go to work. And I'm not saying because I was tired physically. Right. Mentally and in my heart, I knew it was time for me to move. Okay. To the point where it killed me. It took everything in me just to go. And that's when I knew I had to go in a different direction for myself. Right. I couldn't be a father. You cannot be a husband. You can't do your day-to-day -day when that when that pain, when you're driven by that pain, you gotta you gotta fix it. And, and you might lose some people that's close to you when you when you fix it. But you gotta do what, what you're born for, at least that's my perspective. Okay. I can't be good. I can't be a father or husband. I can't be good to nobody if I don't be good to myself first. Facts. Facts. You, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it might hurt. Right. It might hurt. But who's supposed to be in your life is going to be in your life. You got to make that move, period. So, or, or you're going to suppress that and take that to your grave. And I can't live like that. Oof. So mm -hmm. did you take a major L from somebody that actually stepped away from you that you felt was going to step away? Like, did it surprise you for the people that stepped away when you made your journey? Or did it, did you kind of already have that feeling? Because we all kind of know, like, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, they here. Mm -hmm. But if something was to really kick off, I really don't see them being around. Uh, two perspectives on that. Okay. Number one, um, the ones that I thought would be there are still there. Okay. But when you make a move, the relationship's going to come. I didn't know you before I made a move. I seen you in passing. And now we shoot together every day. Thanks. So the relationship's going to come, but you got to take that step first. If you step, it's going to work itself out. Right. The relationship's going to come. Period. Thanks. So mm -hmm. in this journey, um, the relationships that have came, mm -hmm. can you say that they have helped you grow or have they just been, okay, cool, I appreciate the relationship, but we're going to keep moving? Uh, those, those relationships have caused me some heartache as well okay. because I'm the kind of person that if I win, I want to take you with me. Right. And a lot of times you want to take people with you that's not ready to go. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Facts. And it hurts you because it Facts. may be close to people to you that you got to let go. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So so it, it hurts me because I see it in you and I want it for you. Right. But because you don't want it, that hurts me. So I got to learn. To, you, you gotta, that, that's another phase you got to learn to go through. Yeah. How, how to let that go. Yeah. And, you know, you know we had, we had yeah. that conversation when I say, you know, we used to be in the kitchen fixing plates for everybody. Mm. Fixing them. Fixing the plate. Fixing them. But then it's mm. like, bro, I, mm. bro, I'm fixing the plate. It's right here. I agree. You know, I and agree. it's like, okay, I'm tired of fixing the plate. What you gonna do? Sure did. Now all sure of a sudden did. they just sitting there. Well, I'm not gonna eat, and it's like, what you mean? How can you feel like that with everything that we got going? I understand. So yeah, we 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 definitely uh, like I said, man, this boy, this this part two is gonna be. Epic. I, I don't. I don't. Hey, we ain't cut no corners this time. <laughs> hey, 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 the sugar coating is over with. Yeah. No more sugar coating. No more. We we put in enough work to be proven. You, that, you feel that's what I'm saying? And we've been consistent to be proven. Understatement. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. all right. So we didn't quit the job. Let's 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 get into it. Right, let's you know, get, so into, let's it. get into it. So all we right. didn't quit the job. Mm -hmm. All right. We didn't made the move. We here in Atlanta. We didn't done all that. We, yes. we everything is yes. done. So now we up into the part to where we opening the gym. Okay. So we go from quitting the job, opening the gym. Uh, from quitting the job. Okay, let's go to renovating the building. Cause that oh, first. you're right. Let's start there. So, what? I 
I'm from the projects. I ain't really no building. You feel what I'm saying? I, I don't even know where no, to begin to right, the building. Exactly. You don't even know what all goes into it. No clue. Okay. But I know one thing. What's that? going to lose. I'm going to figure it out. There it is. Oh, it's, okay. Can I fast forward? Hey, we're going to wait another one right now. That, that's crazy. Ooh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, hold crazy. on. That's crazy. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Let, let, yeah. Let, 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 all right. I um never second guessed what I was feeling inside. Okay. I never second guessed it. Okay. Um, from the time I walked in the space, I felt as though that this is the one right here. I didn't see all the work ahead. I just knew whatever it was, we were gonna go through it. Okay. It didn't make no difference what the work was. Right. Um, so we go to opening or renovating a building. Okay. Um, with no capital. No capital. Just, so just this- when it said dollar a dream. Dollar and dream. <laughs> well, I left out one key, one key ingredient. What's a dollar and dream and willpower. Okay. You, somebody can't give you willpower. Right. It, it, no. You gotta be. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna break that mountain down. We're gonna bust them down. One way or another, I'm gonna die in pursuit. That's just the way the game goes. You gonna say what? You gonna do what? Die in pursuit. There's no letting up. That's how I feel. Okay. But anyway, Pressure. so so we go to uh, renovating the building with zero clients. Was not personal training at the time. Okay. I just knew. You ever heard that? If you build it, they will come. Most definitely. Oh, that's fact. Feel the dreams. If build you build it, it, they will come. Oh, I heard it. Say it again. Oh, say it again. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. 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 Okay. God, tell so them. hang on. Mm-hmm. You said no clients. So hang on. You gonna open the gym? And you don't have no clients. Quit, quit the job with no clients. Quit the job. Open the gym with absolutely zero clients. But go ahead. if that ain't saying, if that ain't, if that ain't believing in yourself, I was moving by faith. I wasn't moving by sight at that point. I was moving by faith. But here's one here's one thing. One thing you gotta do is be a good person. Facts. Because the relationship's usually already gonna be in place. True. You follow what I'm saying? True. So when I said, hey, it's time to go, I'm I'm, I'm back personal training, I got my own spot, you coming through. The clients that I had did what? Start following. Came back through. Okay. Because I, first of all, you gotta be a good person. Okay. The training part comes second. You okay. can be a great trainer, you be an asshole, you can have no clients. Okay. So mm-hmm. just the Rewind just a little right. bit just to catch a few people up okay. that hadn't went back and watched part one yet. All right. So you were getting off work, mm-hmm. going to people's houses, doing in-house training. True indeed. Okay. So the people that you were in-house training at that point, mm-hmm. once you opened up your own spot, you reached out to them, I had my own spot. Yes, but it was probably a, a couple of year in between that where I had no contact with these people. Okay, but I was always taught, even when I was growing up, that you leave your relationship, you leave your relationships good. Right. So all my relationships were good. Okay. So as soon as I picked up the phone and said, "Hey, I'm back training," I'm like, "Where are you at?" I'm coming through. Okay. And that's because you take pride in your work, and you need right. to do that every day. Even if you want a job, take pride in your work. Facts. Because you never know when those relationships gonna, gonna come back around again. True. So yeah. Okay. So now we renovate. Absolutely. All right. So we renovate. Mm-hmm. What 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 all went in that had you were they okay? Were there a time, was there a time that you kind of got skeptical on this move? Was there ever a time? Not on the, yes, yes. Not, not about renovating the building, mm-hmm. but there was a time where I wasn't working while I was renovating the building. Ooh. And all I know how to do my whole life is work. Facts. So when you used to getting up, going to work every day and you, and you were taught by your parents to earn your paycheck and now all of a sudden you wake up and there's, there's nothing. You gotta go create that. If you sit down, you're gonna end up laying down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so that that was probably the toughest part for me because I it was still uncertain at that point. Okay. You're you're putting your whole life or all, all the years you've worked, everything you've accumulated, you're putting it on the line for not necessarily a dream, but for a feeling that's inside of you yeah. that may or may not work. Because the feeling you have right now could be a step towards another step. You right. don't know if this is the one. Right. But you gotta keep going. If you keep going, it's gonna reveal itself. Okay. You follow me? Okay. But but one of the things that hurt is that as you keep going, you may have to lose the closest people to you in that process. Right. Yeah. Okay. So renovating. Absolutely. All right. So we renovating. We 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 at the spot. We got the spot. Mm-hmm. Like you said, you walked in, you knew then, okay, yeah, this is this is the spot. We renovating the spot. Mm-hmm. When you were renovating that that location, as you were going through the process, um how long did that whole process take? Uh, one month. One month. One month from me walking in, seeing the vision, and making it happen. One month. Okay. One month. 
So is that as far as the painting go, the everything. equipment, everything? everything. It only everything. took you a month to get this. this, this thirty days. Was right. The location that we at right now it took you thirty so days. So walking in, visualizing it, seeing it, creating it, doors open, thirty days. That's thirty right days. Right there. If that ain't motivation. Well, that's when you know it's supposed to happen. All you got to do is keep putting one foot in front of the other. It's going down. So we quit the job. Yes. We renovate and yes. we don't have no clients. Yes. And zero. we have no capital. Zero clients, zero money. But I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that I was driven by faith or certain. <laughs> yeah, zero. <laughs> Right, see, now I'm learning yeah. something new. Yeah, zero. God almighty. Okay, right. so now we had the grand opening. Okay. All right, we had the grand opening. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just I'm just baffled by the simple fact that you opened this spot that don't have not a single client. Zero. Okay. Um, on the grand. Okay, so day of grand opening. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised by how many people showed up? Oh man, yeah, I was blown away actually. Yeah. I was blown away because. Your business is gonna fail if you don't have what? You don't have people. Okay, and to get people, you gotta have what? I don't know. You tell me. You gotta have advertising. Okay. I had zero dollars for advertising. Ooh. Okay. Me? Okay. You follow me? Okay. So what? One thing that really helped out was the relationships that I have made over the years. Okay. Because zero money, spent everything we had just even to get the building ready to go. And now, okay, how do we launch an advertising campaign to get people in here? You don't have no money to launch a zero. advertising. So, so all the people that was at the grand opening was strictly off of the strength of relationships, absolutely, previous relationships. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> hey, so that goes to tell you first and foremost, you gotta be a good person, right? Yeah, off strength, solely off of that. Oh man, I did, I did not know that. I, I yeah. honestly like because I remember mm -hmm. this is where you know, like you said, we. Right. In passing, and this is where I come into play mm -hmm. because, of course, I hosted the grand opening. True and, indeed. You know, it was it was it was fun. Mm -hmm. um, we had a good time. We had a great time. Huge turnout. A huge turnout. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, I'm thinking that you know all this is from advertising. You the, all the people that you've been training, the people that knew you. Because like I said, I've known you from you know Fitness 19. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what was just what, what just was Fitness? Yeah. yeah. And then mm -hmm. you know the mm -hmm. other spot that that told you you couldn't train there no more. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so yeah. it was like at that time mm -hmm. coming through, and I can honestly say from the minute I walked in, from the minute that we started setting up. Mm -hmm. To be honest, mm -hmm. and this is my truth. Right. From the moment that we started setting up, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, this right here is is the field that mm. it's not a commercial field. Mm. This right here is a personal field. Mm. So mm. I can honestly say right then, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm 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 canceling my membership at the other spot mm -hmm. and this is where I'm going and I'm not leaving. Let me I'm ask not, you this. What's up? All right, let me cut you off. No, so go we, ahead. So you used we had no fancy equipment. Nah. And believe it or not, you was the first member of the gym. The very first. For real? So you can't tell me that the relationship was not supposed to happen. That was written a long time ago. Because we've seen <laughs> each other in the gym before. Right. But right. we ain't never really had no chop up. We nah. ain't never parlay. We ain't never do none of that. None of that. We're like, how you doing, bro? What's good? Yeah. And that's it. So most of the time, when you make a move, even when you decide to make your move, whatever your move going to be, yeah. the relationships, nine times out of ten, relationships are already going to be there. Okay. That's just the way the game go. They're already going to be in place. Part two is interesting. Uh -oh. I'm learning a lot. Uh -oh. I'm learning things. I didn't even. I didn't know I was the first official member of Body first, Edge Very first. Hey, hey. Ah, that's what's up. Hey look, hey, look, hey, look. When you gave me, when you gave me your credit card for the first one, yeah, my hand shaking. <laughs> <laughs> first time I took somebody's credit card. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah that's just fact. Oh man, this right here is interesting. Hey man, we create history together. Absolutely. Oh, we go. Oh, gonna create. Yeah. For certain, still got more in the works. Huh? Oh yes, sir. Let's go, man. Let's go. Okay, so right. now we first member, mm -hmm. boom, mm -hmm. grand opening. Yes, I would say me first. I would say it was a success. It was man. because it was packed. Like literally, it was packed. What competition do did we well, have? It, do you remember? I remember. What well, what competition it did was, we have? Uh, one was the bench press for the most repetitions. Okay. And that went stupid. It did. Everybody. That I'm talking about, I think, I think half of Gwinnett County was in there trying to get that money. That was stupid. <laughs> and then it was, uh, was it squat or pull up? For, it was squats for females. No, it was, was pull ups for females. No, it was squats. It was squats. It was squats. Yeah, squats. yeah, 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 yeah. It was squats. Yeah, it was You're right. Man. It was out yeah. there. Yeah. So we had yeah. bench press for the men, squats for the women. Yep. And it was a, uh, yeah. Oh, man, it was a phenomenal turn. It was a great. Day. I know I had family come up. I had family come up from out of town for that grand open. Yeah, it was very, very. Yeah, nice. my parents came from from Alabama. Shout mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. Um, they came up. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
my brother and his girlfriend at the time, they came up. So it was, it was, it was, it was. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. At, that, during, at the, well, I'll tell you what, that day, mm-hmm. I think it was a Saturday when we did that. It was a Saturday. That Monday was the first day of business. Right. That Monday, I had absolutely zero to train. I had no clients. So the grand opening, a huge success. We right. go to work that Monday morning and hold up, shit, crickets. Okay, hold up. Did I make the right decision? Ooh. I'm in there, I'm in there the first day with absolutely zero clients. I mean zero. That's man, that would you call a dollar. A so day. you had no clients. No. But how about members? Uh, a few. You was the very first one. Okay. You follow right. me? I got you. And here's here's one thing you got to realize: when you start standing in your truth and going after your dream, those who say they will won't. You follow me? Everybody Ooh. came out to parlay. Everybody came out to party for the for the celebration. Right. But Monday morning, the doors got open. You walk in, you by yourself. Okay, I thought y'all was with me. Yeah, they with you from the back. You gotta learn how to go on your own. You follow me? Yeah. But so, so like I said, man, in the last, I think our last episode, man, when it's time to stand in your truth, man, those key ingredients gotta already be in you, man. It's okay. a few things gotta be in you. What's that? Let's call them all. I'm gonna say number one, willpower. Because okay. can't nobody teach you that. Facts. It's, it's in you, or, or I don't know if willpower and resilience are the same, but but resilience for certain. Okay. You know what I mean? Because if I'm breathing, you're going to have to beat me down before I let up off that pedal. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So yeah. so, so yeah, I can't wait to get into that part. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you got to have willpower or faith for certain. Most definitely. Faith for certain. Most and, definitely. And whatever, whatever your religion is, I mean, just believing in the unseen and believing that what's for you is for you. Can't nobody tell me that it's not. Okay. And, and if it's really in your heart to do right by others, you won't win. You know what I mean? You can't you can't bamboozle. You got to get there on the truth. You know, yeah. my, my whole thing is I always say this and I continue to say it. Mm-hmm. I believe in you can't bring your representative to any relationship. Um, I think you can cheat your way to the top, but you won't stay at the top. Okay. You'll stay there on truth. You, you'll get right. there fraudulent, but you won't right. stay. Yeah, okay. You won't stay. So it's the longevity. That Absolutely. Counts. Okay. There we go. Yeah. All right. So first day, open Monday morning, nobody in the gym. Mm-hmm. That was a very uncomfortable feeling. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. how did you get comfortable with being uncomfortable? That took a um, years and years of preparation. Meaning? Meaning that even before we got to the day one of the grand opening, mm-hmm. I probably spent three years of listening to nothing but audio every day. Okay. All right. To the point where anytime I was in the car, there was no radio. I was feeding my mind something positive. I remember that. You follow me? And that's probably three years of doing that. You you follow what I'm saying? So it wasn't just something that just spontaneously started happening overnight. This was, again, a a long period. Absolutely. A transition period, which was Mm -hmm. several years up until that point. Okay. But I never second guessed the decision that I made to walk away from my job. And I got a high school education. I don't have a college degree. So. But you can put me in a room with 20 people that have been to college and we can have some dialogue. Mm. You, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. So, but that comes with time. Your confidence is gonna grow over time. You know what I mean? So not going to. So you don't have a degree in business or anything. It's just simply. So how did you learn how to become a great business owner? Because this is two totally different things. I don't just disagree. Open, just owning the business and being a great yeah, business yeah, owner yeah, at the yeah. same time. Running a business and owning the business. Yes, two different things. Exactly. So um, how did you get? How did you become? Well, I I, I am still becoming. But I will put the person's feelings and needs before mine. Okay. And I'm going to be completely fair. So I don't call myself a salesman. If you tell me what you want, I'm yeah. going to tell you what it's going to take for you to get there. Right. And I'll let you make the decision. Because I'm not in the convincing business. If you want to get this work and you want to change your body, I have the recipe for that. You're not in the what business? Yeah, convincing business. Okay. You follow me? I so if you say, hey, chef, this is what I want. I'm going to say, well, look, this is what it's going to take. Boom, 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 boom. Slide the plate in front of me. Mm. If you're ready to eat, we're going to make it work. And I'll give you a thousand percent. Right. If I don't, if, if, if we measure and there's no results, I'm going to figure out why there's no results. You, you follow what I'm saying? Okay. So that's all I can do is stand in my truth and put it on the table. That's for them to make the decision. So mm-hmm. it sounds like to me that you, you, you put your all into it. Mm-hmm. So you invest yourself. So is it safe to say that when you feel that somebody's not giving you all that you know they have in them mm-hmm. back to you, mm-hmm. does that frustrate you? No, because this is what I tell them. What's that? If you're not gonna give me a thousand percent, I need you to step to the side and let somebody come in here to change your life. Because I'm not gonna be here just to take your money. You follow what I'm saying? And I've said that to numerous people. 
yeah, we're not just going to take your money. If you ain't ready to commit to this and you don't want to change your life, then step out of the way. Let somebody come in here that's ready. Dude, we got people waiting to get in right now. Now, that's different. Oh, for certain. That's Now, that's different. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I know for a fact at a couple of other spots, I've known people that have been at other spots mm -hmm. and been there for three months and no results. No, it's, it's too many people that we can help. It's too many people that we are going to help. So if you're not ready to commit, then get out of the way. Because somebody's ready to change their life. <laughs> that's just fact. <laughs> Man, yeah. that's 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 real. Yeah. Now that's real. I like that. So we don't convince them. <laughs> that's real. By I time like... by time we get to the consultation, because you know what you want already. Right. Not because we had to convince you. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Man, you drop some. You, hey, but you, be you, honest, you got my you, mind running. We, over we, we should charge for our environment alone. Because <laughs> our environment will change. Even if you ain't training with the chef, our environment is just so positive. True. You gonna you gonna become who you need to become just by being in the environment. Most, I, we I can, need to start charging for the environment, man. So, mm -hmm. out of all the people that come through the gym, okay, right? When do you feel that everybody start recognizing what you had to offer? I still feel like that I don't have it to offer. I'm just magnifying what's already in you. I'm giving you the blueprint through my. Since I've been doing it so long, mm -hmm. I know how to get you get you to where you need to go. Right. And um, I think that, um, I don't know, I still don't take no recognition. I'm just pulling out what's already in you. It was there the whole time. You just didn't see true. it. Yeah, because yeah, so I've, I've heard you tell people that. Yeah. Like, no, nah, I ain't do nothing. I just yeah. pulled out with you, what, yeah. what was already yeah, in you. I, I ain't taking no recognition. I'm mm -hmm. just going to use what I've learned over the years. Right. And it's through trial and error, we're going to figure it out. So how long How long have we been at this spot? This spot here? Yes. Four, four years. Four years in, right? Yeah. Four years in. Mm hmm and if you go back, all you guys can go back and you guys can look at all the videos that we have put out. Um, we have a wall full of transformations. I'm talking about full of transformations. True indeed. Do you feel that we are the number? And I say we because I'm, I'm, I'm riding with you. I don't, whenever you say, Absolutely. if you say, hey, We're I'm going to pull up over here. I'm, I'm jumping in. Let's, go. Let's ride. Let's go. So would you say, and, and I'm, I don't care. I'm the coldest host. I'm always going to put facts mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. I'm a, would you agree with me when I say you are the number one trainer in transformations? Um, I'm gonna claim that. I mean, I'm I mean, come on. I mean, let's let's go and get your flowers right now. Are you the number one trainer in transformations right now? That I know of, I, I haven't seen it. Most of the time, first of all, I have learned to completely remove out what I can do. Okay. okay. It's nothing. It has. You know what? I hate when I go to someone's page and I see the trainer in the gym. I see the trainer with their clothes off. I can't. I need to see how many lives you change, and I want to see transformations down your page. Okay. Okay. So, so when it comes to that, yes, I'm gonna claim that number one spot. Number one spot. Yeah, I ain't talking about what I can do. Right. I'm talking about what I can do for Motivate you. Motivate people to I'm, get. I'm there. gonna claim that. Yes. Okay. So in the transformations, we're gonna take a couple. We're gonna take a look at it at, right. at a couple of transformations that we have going. Okay. Because you know. We got proof. All we right. ain't just talking. All right. We got proof. Let's take a look. My boy E. I see you, E. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're not playing. Mm -mm. Oh, my. Mm. Cool. Ooh. Major. Major. Hey, well, you know what the beauty of that is, though? What's that? Uh, is who they become in the process. That's that's the beauty of it. I agree. That look, that's, that's the byproduct. Right. But who they become, that, that's where it's at. And it's funny because, you know, if you've watched a couple of the behind the aprons mm -hmm. with some of the guests, you already know my my favorite question is, have your confidence levels grown since the, mm -hmm. the, the change? Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people try to play it nonchalantly, but they forget. I'm I'm down there in the gym every time they come in the gym. Mm -hmm. I can pretty much tell you everybody's schedule mm -hmm. that come in the gym, mm -hmm. what time they're going to come in mm -hmm. and all of that. So I can honestly say that when I'm in there and I'm I'm you already know I'm talking to everybody when they mm -hmm. come in. I can see. Change. How much they their, their confidence level mm. has changed mm. simply by the conversation mm. because I, we just talked about it yesterday. What did I say? People that first come in, they they timid. Hey, how you? How you doing? Me and you talking the whole time, talking to them, messing with them, they timid. But then, as soon as you start to see them transformations that you just saw, mm. now everybody's having comfortable conversations. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's laughing. Everybody become negotiators. Exactly. Well, why? Right. Why did I do that many reps? Why did I? I'm like, hold up. <laughs> Yeah, they become yeah. negotiators. Yeah. So does how does that make you feel? Um, 
the, the, believe it or not, it made me feel great, but it's not the results. That, to be honest with you, I don't even really care about the results. Okay. I, I like when someone face the obstacle and go through it. You follow me? That's mm-hmm. that's what motivate me. Okay. You know what I mean? When you do something that you didn't you didn't think you could, or and, and that's why we we do those measurements in body fat every four weeks because that person nine times out of ten is not going to see it. Right. But once you go back that's and get nice. those numbers, nice. they're like, oh, I'm like, bro, just keep going, just keep going. So yeah. let me ask you this: When people see their numbers and they see the changes that are being made, do you see a harder drive from that from from the moment that they realize? Absolutely. Most definitely. Absolutely. That's why the first four weeks is most critical. So you measure, well, what I like to do, I like to measure the first four weeks. Okay. And then you make the adjustment. Because in the beginning of the consultation, you're just making a guesstimate. Right. Because you don't know how their body going to adapt or, or change. Right. But the, I tell them, they, they give me everything you got for the first weigh in, for the first measurement. Okay. And then once they see how far they come, that gives them the will to keep pushing. So the first weigh in is usually the most important. Okay. You follow me? Because if somebody do something they've never done, and then you go do that first measurement, there's no change. They don't lost every bit of drive they had. True. So all I need you to do is give me the first 30 days. And once you see that this work, now, now you got that full attention. Right. So the first the first month is going to be the most, in my opinion, is the, the most, most critical. Okay. So the method that you use is mm-hmm. the surge method. Correct? Absolutely. And that's a method that you created. Can Absolutely. nobody else take credit for that? It's a method that you created. Absolutely. Real quick, let's just let the new people know what the surge method is. All right. Build strength. You can use the method with your own workout, improve recovery, gain muscle, and increase muscle endurance. Ooh. All right. And, and the whole thing in a nutshell is type one, type two muscle fibers, uh, slow to fatigue, fast to fatigue. The way that I teach people is to is to train both of those. Okay. All right. So I like for you to be just as strong at the end of your workout as you were in the beginning. And there's a method to do that. Okay. Um, with that being said, for the people out there. I'm going to ask you this. Mm -hmm. So I hear a lot of people that say, man, I want to come, but it looked like it's hard. Or the trainer might, because believe it or not, you do intimidate a lot of people. And it's not the, your appearance Mm -hmm. is more or so of the drive that you have. And and, and they see Mm -hmm. how you pushing Mm -hmm. everybody else. Mm -hmm. So what do you tell people right now? Look at the Mm -hmm. camera and tell the people that is, uh, that's scared to come to you because they're scared to fail. They're scared that they might not be able to reach what they just seen on that. Uh, well, this is, well, failure is good. Okay. Failure is good. Failure is good. Um, I would say what would separate the chef from most trainers is that probably I've been in a game so long, I will figure out what your body respond to. Okay. Every single person's body is going to respond to something different. And once we find out what your body responds to, that's when we master gas and we capitalize. So the first thing I need you to do is just keep showing up even when you don't see nothing. That's, that's all I need you to do. Okay. The rest we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Or no? Yeah, most definitely. Right. Most definitely. So mainly just, just show up. Just show up. You got to step out. Like he said, mm-hmm. he didn't he didn't know nothing. He just stepped out on faith mm-hmm. and, and, and he knew what it was. So if you really want to get in shape, you really want to see that change and you serious about getting healthier, Man, just come sign up. That's it. So with asking you about other people's Mm -hmm. uh, fear, Mm -hmm. what is your biggest fear? Um, Not being successful. That's my biggest fear. And in your your mind, your opinion, what is not being successful? Um, I think you measure success by how many lives you change. That's how you measure success. Not by my personal, because I'm a dog in the gym. I don't know what I need to do in the gym. (laughs) That's not what I mean. Facts. But I guess you can say by how many people you you inspire. I, I would like to say when it's all said and done, when you fill the room with everyone that I've trained, mm-hmm. I probably can say they're all going to say the same exact thing about me. Okay. So that's a W for me. I already won. Okay. I've already done it like no trainer has never done it. Oh, from, that's facts. From scratch. That's facts. You know, so I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Okay. So I right like now, my hands are off the wheel. I'm just like, just show me where you want me to go. I'm, I'm, I'm there. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm completely going by faith right now. Okay. Completely. So let's 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 dive back a little. Let's re- hit the rewind button a little right. bit. What, outside of just wanting to be successful, what has been your number one motivator to make you the dog that you are? Mm. To be honest, oh, number one motivator. What's the number one motivator to make you the dog that you are? I would probably say you might not believe this. But I probably say I was wired. I was wired that way. Really? From as long as I can remember. Did you? If it's shoveling shit, I'm gonna shovel the shit the best. I'm coming. You feel what I'm saying? I think I'm just wired. I'm just wired. I'm just wired that way. 
I mean, that's just real talk. Okay. So, so when I'm in the gym and I'm training, right. I, I don't care nothing about what I can do, bro. I've right. been surrendered to that. Right. You know, I don't know what I want to do in the game. It's about what I can do for you at this point. So if you hang with me long enough, I'm going to figure out what your body responds to. If you just give me a little, a little bit of help, we're going to figure it out. Period. That's just what I stand on. Okay. Um, let's just change gears a little right. bit. We're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to, we're going to get a little deeper. Um, because we've had a conversation um about becoming successful oh you say when you come right. when, when you become successful you're gonna lose certain things mm. and i well, know talk, talk. Ooh, no. i know when you i want to say a year mm-hmm. maybe a year mm-hmm. after you opened the gym mm-hmm. i remember you telling me that mm-hmm. your mom had fell ill absolutely and we, uh, we, we can go even before, let me see even before that because my losing my my mother in the process that gave, that gave me more fuel Really? That fired me up even more. Ooh, you know what I mean? Uh, but let me, let me rewind. Just okay. before, I'm, make sure you bring me back up to that. Okay. Um, even before that, uh, the chef started out with a team of trainers. It was probably, what, five of us at, at, one, at one time. Okay. And the biggest pain for me is wanting something for someone more than what they want for themselves. Okay. Back to what we were talking yeah. about earlier. That, right. that's fixing what, plates. Yeah, that caused me pain, fixing plates. Right. So I wanted to take every single person with me. Right. You follow me? I know the feeling. I, I want to take you with me. This is this all I need you to do. I, I got you. And then, look, we're going we're to conquer this. Right. And then we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna see the everybody dream. Just to play right here. But everybody don't yeah. want to win. Yeah. And, and that, I know. That, yo, bro, that hurt. Okay. That hurt. Okay. So I had to learn to leave people where they are until, until they're ready. Because everybody's journey is completely different. True. So not, with no judging. Because where you are on your journey is where you are on your journey. True. But if I can share a peace of mind and motivate you, I, I, I'm, I'm going to do that. I've probably been where you are already. True. But anyway, the losing the mind part, that that really sparked another gear in me because she never walked inside our first location. You follow me? Right. And then I see um, how she lived her life, and I'm determined not to live mine that way. And that's what I mean by that. Now, first and foremost, life isn't about earning an income. It's not about money. Okay. Um, and you, it's about how many lives you change and what you leave behind. Mm. But I can change a lot of lives with the more money I make. I agree. And I still have a Ziploc bag right now with thirty-seven dollars that my mom had to her name when she died. I'm determined not to spend that money. So on my gold board in my closet is the bag of thirty-seven dollars taped mm. to the court board that was hers. And that remind me every single morning when I don't feel like going and put that work in. You feel what I'm saying? Thirty-seven dollars. I would never spend that bag, never. And she got up and went to work every single day. Mm. You follow me? But she was doing what she was taught. Right. And most of us don't believe in ourselves. That's the first thing you gotta learn how to do. You mm. feel what I'm saying? So mm. you can't you can't mm. do nothing. You can't change my life life until you come comfortable with who you are. Like I know for a fact that I'm in my purpose. It ain't no question. Oh, I think everybody. You know what I mean? So where yeah. where it take me at? I don't know, but I've surrendered to that already. You know what I mean? I, I've yeah. surrendered to that. I'm standing in my truth wherever it takes me. Right. I'm just going to do what I'm supposed to do. Okay. So right. you lost your mom. Mm-hmm. All right. You lost your father oh. due to suicide, correct? Absolutely. Long ago. Okay. Long ago. How? What was the age at that time? I was 10. You were 10? Absolutely. So tell, let us know okay. how that changed you. Because everything that we go through changes, mm. changes us. Mm. How did that change you? If you can't remember back then. Um, at that time, I remember that I did not understand. I didn't understand it at that, at that time. Okay. I didn't understand death for one. Um, I didn't even really know or had a relationship with my father that I maybe would have gotten as I got older. Okay. Like, I've never been able to just ride in the car with my dad as a man. You, you feel what I'm saying? Right. Me, two men in the car and we talking as men. Right. I've always been a, been a child. That's, you follow me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you imagine being grown? In the car with your dad, grew up, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Damn, I, yeah, I would like to been able to do that. But I can say we're very similar. We can very similar. Um, and I didn't really learn, actually that helped me close the chapter, to be honest with you. I didn't really learn who my father was until I, I spent a great amount of time with um, with my stepmother. Your stepmother? Yeah, we, okay. we spent about three hours in a car together. And okay. I learned everything I needed to learn. And that closed it. Yeah. Um, I didn't know who my father, really who my father was as a person outside of who he was when he was home with me, if that makes sense. Yeah. So just hearing about the way his drive was and his will to win, 
I'm exactly the same. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So that 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 uh that that healed me a little bit. That closed some doors for me. I feel like in my mind, in my heart, I can do anything I want to do. There's no second guessing. Yeah, you gotta have that. You gotta have that drive. Though. Yeah, yeah. I don't disagree. Yeah, you gotta have that drive yeah. because I mean, I think a lot of people out here can mm-hmm. sit back and talk about what they want to do. True. You know, they can dream about what they want to do. Absolutely. But if they're not willing to, mm-hmm. like you said, have that drive mm-hmm. or be able to willing to step out mm-hmm. on faith like you were, or hell, even me well, per se, I you see. know, um, I don't think that a lot of people really understand what it takes to do what you did. The biggest thing is being able to go when you don't see it. All okay. right. Most people go when they know it's going to work. Right. When they go when they can see the other side. Right. But once you get the confidence to go, even when you don't see it and just believe it, it's going to happen. Um, and most people, uh, I don't know, you got to be able to ride that thing out. Like we've been, we've been in the gym. Shit, matter of fact, you you did the grand opening, right? Right. And give or take, in the last four years, I've been there seven days a week. Yeah. 14, 15 hours a day, the average person would have been ran out of gas. <laughs> Facts. You follow me? Because, yeah. yeah. I mean, not speaking ill, but yeah. we but we didn't had a couple people come through yeah. saying it. And now yeah. all of a sudden, right. it's back to just being right. you. But, but I tell you what, the ones that did came through, you will regret not winning with us. Yeah, and that's just straight, straight. Man, that's, no, that's no, real, listen, right? no, no ill will. None. But just being competitive as I am, yeah. we're gonna fight to the end. Yeah. You will regret not not finishing. I, I and that's just disagree. the way the game go. I don't disagree. You know what I mean? And it's nothing personal. Right. That's that's just just that 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 that, that competition in me. That, that that fight that dog in me. Yeah. You follow me? Because if I yeah. fix your plate and you push it to the side because you ain't hungry, because you yeah. then you gonna go over there and eat less. Oh man, I'm gonna eat a T-bone steak in front of you now. <laughs> I mean, that's just talk. That's just being competitive. Back. That's just talk. Yeah, we started together, didn't we? Yeah, four years in. Four years in. We're man. gonna figure it out. Man, we still going hard. But 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 those ingredients were in you before we met. You can't teach somebody how to be loyal. You can't teach drive. You can't teach willpower. All those things gotta be inside the person. You can't teach that shit. I agree. Now, if you find that, now, now shit, how many years we in? We four years in. Do we think we'd be sitting right here right now? Nah. I mean, but you know what? Yeah. Let's let us let us we ain't gonna even say we four years in. Uh, let's go back. We actually what we at? we actually ten years in. Cause I remember the first time I seen you, you? at Just Fitness and I was like, Damn. He 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 fresh out. Dog. He, he fresh out. Dog. He too strong. He Dog. going too hard. Mm. He, and when I say fresh out, I mean fresh out the pen. Yes. He fresh out. Dog. You know what I mean? But Dog. at the same time, mm-hmm. when I seen your work. That you were putting in, I instantly respect you simply because I my, now my uncle, was Uncle Dwayne R.I.P. Right. Right. Uh, he was Uncle Dwayne was six three, but y'all Bill was the same. So that right there, kind of, uh, let's just say, it attracted me to you in that way because I was like, damn, I, that's, I see my uncle right there. You know what I'm saying? I see my uncle. Right, right. You know, right. and so it was like, okay, a, a respect level mm-hmm. is already there mm-hmm. simply because I can relate to your uncle. To my uncle. I got it. Got All right. So as time passed, every day we would see each other because it was an everyday thing. Mm-hmm. We seen each other in gym mm-hmm. every day. Mm-hmm. We it started out, hey, what's up, man? How you yep. doing? Hey, yep. what's up, bro? Yep. You know, and then I seen the crew that you started coming with. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Champ. Every you know what I'm saying? Day. That's another one that's been here from from, from which for as long as I can remember. Mm-hmm. But the work that you guys were putting in. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, uh, yeah, most definitely. And so, uh, so yeah, man, we, we, we've been together longer than than four years, man. We've been together for 10, but we didn't actually start grinding together. True indeed. True indeed. We've been grinding together for four years, but we've been, you know, in passing, in passing for for, for 10. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. So, uh, to see, to see where we at and what we doing and. Oh, we just getting started. Yeah. Like literally. Yeah. We just getting started. Literally just getting started. So, question. Right. Um, the team, or let's no, we ain't gonna even call it team. We're gonna say the community mm-hmm. that you have around you. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like they are up, uplifting you to do more than what you even envision yourself doing? Um, well, I, I don't know about to do more. But mm. I love leading by example. I like going first. Okay. I don't care about going first. Right. Because I want to tell you that you can do it. Okay. So a lot of times I have to go first. Right. And I will go first. But then I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. See, that's the difference. Most people get there and then they're going to let you figure out how to get there. Mm-hmm. If I get there, you coming. You, you follow what I'm saying? Right. If I get there, I'm going to show you how to get there. 
And the same thing with the training. Now, I've been in this game a long time. I'm not talking about just training myself. Right. I've been personal training all shapes, sizes, ages. Most I've probably seen every scenario you can think of. And I'm willing to share that. Like when you when me and you training, I'm talking to you and I'm giving you my experiences so you can understand why we why we doing what we're doing and, and why you where you are. Most trainers are just in the in the business to make money and then they withhold information. Okay. You, you follow me? Right. I can give you Every single ounce of me, you're not gonna duplicate it the way I'm gonna give it to you. Facts. So that, that don't Facts. bother me at all. Imitate it, never duplicate. Yeah, it don't it don't Most it don't definitely. bother me at all. Most definitely. Um, so where you at now? Mm -hmm. What's next? We ain't even got started. That's how I feel. We haven't even got started. We just now get to the point where we should have been a few years ago. Okay. Why um, you say that? Because right now I think that we do inspire people. I agree. And I'm not talking about just giving transformations at a right. gym. Right. We're going to inspire you to be the best version of yourself just by being in our surroundings. You follow me? Right. We're, we're, our next move is just catching up to where we've already been. So we're still a little bit behind. Like the, like the world don't even know who we are. But, the, but they will. The world don't. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But, the, but they will. Yeah. We neighborhood yeah. We, we, we neighborhood famous right now. By the time it's said and done, they, they will know. Okay. For certain. Okay. So... When you said earlier, you said we need to start charging for our environment. Absolutely. What do you mean by that? Because all the, number one, we got so many different ages, nationalities that, that come and train mm -hmm. uh, where we train. Right. And um, everyone, it's all love. Every single day, it's all love. Right. You, you follow what I'm saying? So before to have that type of environment is usually the barbershop. And if you go to the barbershop, it's only men. Right. But we have that environment with men and women. I don't know no other place where, where you do that. True. You, you follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We have no drama. It's solely, how can I help you? Right. You follow what I'm saying? What do you need? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, you know what? Let me think. Let me call this guy up here because I know he. Okay, look, let, this is who you need to talk to. You, you follow what I'm saying? It's a network. That's, that's, in, that's incredible. Yeah, that really they're, getting, they're getting in shape is a byproduct. Okay. You, you follow what I'm saying? You right. just got to make your Matter of fact, you only got to make your mind up. Everybody that come uh, and train with us is because they're supposed to be there. That's just period. I agree. You follow what I'm saying? I agree. But we still we still a secret right now. So mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, we still, we're a, still secret. a secret right now. <laughs> and we are I like that. I like that because it's true, because yeah. the only people that know it's like a it's it's like a inner circle type thing. Mm -hmm. So I totally agree because only it's it's oh yeah, I know seven, it's every six degrees of separation. I can mm -hmm. honestly say mm -hmm. in the gym it's six mm -hmm. degrees of separation from everybody in there. Mm -hmm. I might not know that person directly, mm -hmm. but I know who brought them in. Understood. They might not know me directly, but they know me by such, you know what I mean? So I totally agree. But uh, I would definitely say the community in there is like none other. Okay, so let me ask you, when you, uh, what is on the wall in front of the squat rack? What does those words say on, on the wall? In front of the squat rack. Uh, a squat rack. Yes. Uh, inspiration. And it says inspire. I mean, yeah, inspire. Um, I'm not smarter than nobody else, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to go first. Okay. You follow me? That, that's yeah. what the difference is. Right. I'm going to go first. I'm going to take the bumps and bruises, then I'm going to show you how, how you can avoid them. That's just what it is. And that's what Aspire means to me. Okay. I got a high school education. Business, I figure this shit out every day. But you know what? As long as I put people first and do right by people, we're going to win. The transformation is the byproduct of that. You mm. feel what I'm saying? Right. So people that come train at where we train is because they love the environment that we had. I don't disagree. You, you follow what I'm saying? They right. love the environment. Right. You know what I mean? And you can't duplicate that because that's the only truth. You know what I mean? Right. So we got the environment. Mm -hmm. we, like I said, we transformation. I like like to me, like, I guess I'm understanding more and more of where you're coming from because okay. to me, I always thought the transformations was the number one byproduct. Mm -hmm. But no, because so a lot of people come to the gym to get in shape. Okay. But now with all the moves that we're making, mm -hmm. I'm understanding why it's all about the community aspect, mm. the networking mm. aspect. Mm. Because like you said, when you open, mm. you didn't have not a single person. Mm -hmm. Everybody, You didn't advertise. Mm -mm. Everybody that came, mm -hmm. came from the relationship that you had prior, the networking that you had. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole community, it's, whole, it's, it's, it's networking, it's, it's just being a good person True all indeed. the way around. True indeed. So fast forwarding, to where we at the the relationships that you have built up until this point where do you see a lot of them taking us 
Um, the relationship taking us? Yeah. Uh, I, I would say the relationships are already in place. Okay. The relationship is usually already in place. Just the purpose of, relation, of that relationship has, has not been revealed yet. But the mm-hmm. relationships are already in place. When you make mm-hmm. a move, the resources are going to be there. You just got to figure out what that move is. And not because it's the move that you want to do, but it was the move that you were born to do. Which, that's two different things. Okay. So when you figure that out, most relationships are, are, are already there. For instance, you knew me before we opened our first location. Right. And now we wrap here four years apart. The relationship was already there. True. You, you follow what I'm saying? Right. So relationship is already yeah. there, but when you start moving in your purpose, and not because you have an idea, right. not because it's something you want to get rich off of, right. not because you've seen somebody else doing it, but when you really look into yourself and find out what you were born for, the relationship's probably already going to be there. Ooh. You follow me? Yeah. But but our dilemma right now is do how do we preserve what we have on a larger scale? You know what mm. I mean? Because I don't know if I can say it or not, but now we go into a new location. How do how do we preserve the integrity of what we what we already built? Okay. That, that's going to be the next challenge. So before we get to that, right. let's 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 talk about the online aspect of it okay, because cool. now we're like. I've read a couple of times, and like I said, I'm still learning. I'm still coming up to speed on a lot of things. I'm still learning as well. Right. It says uh, the best way to do it is learn how to dupl- how to duplicate yourself. And I feel like with you coming up with the idea for the online personal training mm. has duplicated us. Mm. But at the same time, I know you feel like it hasn't taken off the way that it that it should. And a lot of times, like a lot of conversation we had, sometimes like I say, man, bro, you got to slow down. Mm. It's gonna come. But the mm. simple fact of the Repetition diner, hmm. duplicating yourself through the repetition diner. Well, let's, let me ask you, how did you come up with that idea? Um, the diner or the chef? The diner? The diner. Um, the repetition diner, uh, every every workout is, is broken down into an appetizer, a main course, and a dessert, just like you're eating a meal. Right. And that's pretty much how I train. Okay. You know what I mean? So I just gave it in, in, a, in a way that people would never forget and a way that they can relate to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you're not actually not actually not actually eating food. You're eating repetitions. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So the repetitiondiner.com. Mm-hmm. We launched it. Now we got behind the apron. How do you feel that that is doing right now? Just I, from a personal perspective. I would say that is where it's supposed to be. Okay. All right. And this is what I mean by that. I'm going. I'm, I'm going to say that I'm a rare, I'm a rare breed. I don't need nobody to motivate me. I'm right. going to figure it out. I'm going to go get it done. Okay. But I'm going to go get it done until. Okay. There's there's no time limit. It's until we succeed. And soon as we succeed, we might pause for a minute and, and celebrate. But tomorrow, we're right back on another mission. But everybody's not wired that way. True. You, you follow what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like um, just, just, just me being the example with no college degree, no formal education, just the will to succeed. Um, the position that that I'm in right now is just solely based off my experience. For talking about far as fitness, okay. So solely based off that. Now, as far as being able to relate to people, can't nobody teach you that aspect, right? And I think we have an environment that everyone wants to be a part of. Mm-hmm. I think they want to be there. That's dope. That's dope. So with 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 everything that we've been that we've covered, I mean, we've like I said, bro, I've learned a lot, and I'm super intrigued. What is it? Is there a question that I haven't answered, or is there something that I haven't asked you about that you really need that you feel you need to get off your chest right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. Let's, let's dive into it. Um, the average person would have ran out of gas by now. All I right. agree. All right. So okay. a lot a lot of people have dreams, but they put a time limit on it. All right. So what when do you mean by that? By putting time limit on it? When you're chasing your dream, or when you're trying to stand in your truth or live in your purpose, it's until. All right, it's until you win. There's no time limit at all. Okay. So for give or take some holidays, seven days a week for the last four years, chef been in the kitchen. <laughs> the average person would have been ran out Whipping of gas. Whipping up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you're driven by your purpose, I mean, it's, it's not the fatigue that w- what you're thinking. You know what I mean? It might take me an extra hour of sleep, you know what I mean? And I'm right back on the grind. But give or take, I'm going to be there because I'm driven by something greater than me, if that makes sense. Well, definitely. So when you stand in your purpose, you, you, the resource is going to come. But you can't become that person when it's time to chase your dream. All the core ingredients had to be there in the beginning. I agree. You, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of people miss that part. They have a million dollar idea, but your work ethic been horrible your whole life. You follow what I'm saying? And you can't because you got a million dollar idea. Now you think you're going to be a boss. 
you ain't even did the 10 steps before that. You haven't even been this person. Right. You follow what I'm saying? Right. When you look back over your life, those experiences were already there to prepare you for this. If you can't say that, then that's not your mission. Mm. You, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. So, mm. so anybody know the chef, they're going to know that the chef been training for I don't know how long. 20. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they're saying, yo, the chef yeah. a beast in the gym, it's because I've, I've showed you I'm a beast. Right. Not because I want you to believe that. Right. You can do the homework and dig and peel those layers back and you're going to find the same thing. You have to be that first. You feel what I'm saying? Peel the you layers can, back. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah. You okay. can't. You, you're not Drop gonna, the juice. Listen, you can be there being a fraud, but you won't stay there being a fraud. That's just the way the game goes. Right or wrong? Facts. Absolutely. Facts. Dropping them jewels, so, bro. So that, that's, that's, hey, it's an open book with me, man. Uh-huh. I ain't perfect. We can learn something for every single person come through the door. You, you feel I what agree. I'm saying? Most definitely. So, so I, I have solely learned to let information flow through me. I don't hold on to anything. I'm not going to try to resell you. You're going to make that decision. You, you ready to eat? You still hungry? Right. Okay, look, I tell you what, let's keep this thing going. I ain't in no convincing business. There's too many people out there that we can help that want to be helped to right. convince you this is where you need to be. Mm. We're not doing that. No, we're not doing that. Mm. So if you're hungry, like we say, like right. you say you're hungry, right. guess what we have right here. And if you're not, move out the way to let somebody that, that we can change their life that really want it. Stop faking. Get out of the way. So, mm-hmm. like you said, you hungry. Yeah. And I said, let's eat, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I know as a host, like, it's, it's sometimes like it's every now and again, I might catch myself rehearsing, trying to better my skills in hosting. Mm-hmm. So with you, a lot like you have a lot of dope sayings, you know, mm-hmm. uh, who's hungry, let's eat. Mm-hmm. Um, it's only work. Uh, like you said, inspire. Um, mm-hmm. Are those just naturally flowing out? Or can you say like, oh, yeah, I actually was sitting just riding in one of your quiet times and thought of that. And it's like, mm-hmm. OK, yeah, I can use that. Um, I would say that that just happened in the moment. All of those phrases happened in the moment. And all of those, just... yeah, all those happen in a moment. One thing that I try to do is that I don't watch other trainers. Okay. Um, not that I can't learn from them, right? But I won't be true to my gift if I start trying to pull other things from other people. Yeah. You. you follow me? So yeah. I stand exactly in my lane and what I was created for, and that's where I stay. If that makes sense. Yeah. Well, you definitely. know what I mean? Now, as far as now, when it, because we're talking about fitness, being a beast in the gym, I feel like I can go toe to toe for most, but that's not what my mission is. Right. My mission is solely to change your life, period. You follow me? And I'm going to do that through fitness. Now, the environment and the conversation which you have is just going, just going to magnify that. By, the, by it's all said and done, your transformation is going to be the last thing that, 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 that's on your mind. You're going to become a different person. That's for certain. Mm. You follow me? Mm. And that's why we don't have, matter of fact, we have zero advertising. We have zero advertising right now. And right now, the chef person trains 16 to 18 hours a day with zero advertising. How many? 16 to 18 hours a day. 16 to 18 sessions a day with zero advertising. How is that possible? Well, you know, this is that, again, I read another quote where it said, you know, uh, somebody asked, I think it was the owner of Lamborghini or Ferrari, uh, why, right. why, don't, why, why don't they advertise? Hmm. And the response was because people know where to find good quality. Mm. That's mean. That's so you don't have to advertise good quality. People mm. gonna find good quality. I, I don't disagree. So sixteen to eighteen sessions a day, and yeah. there's no advertisement. Yeah, that right there alone speaks in itself. Well, you heard the phrase: your reputation is gonna precede you. You follow me? That's why you gotta do right by every single person that come in front of you. Facts. Period. Facts. Dropping yeah. jewels in here today. Yeah, that's crazy. Dropping jewels in here today. That's crazy. God, the mighty no. But 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 personal training and running the business two different things. There's still some growing that I need to do because yeah. I'm training so much that I have time to evolve in other areas. You, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So true indeed, you do have to find the balance. But right now, I would probably say, man, I, I'm willing to die for mine. I'm a, I'm gonna die for I make this yeah. thing before I fall off this thing. Yeah. Thing. When you That's say you got to be that. willing to die in, in, in pursuit, absolutely. I, I I I'm willing to do that. <laughs> And probably when I when it's all said and done, when I do die, everybody gonna say the same thing about me. Oh I, yeah, I, every single person gonna say the same thing. I totally so agree. I already won. That's, I already won. That right there is it, it, that's mean, success. Mean that's success. That's a true meaning of success for me. Okay, I okay. got you. So the new well, you know what? We're not even gonna talk about I, that. We're gonna say that for part three. Okay. You want to come back for a part three? With a new location? Yeah. Oh, for a new okay. location. Mm. We're gonna come back for part three on a new location. Um. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's say that for part three. Let's talk about it. about to be on. Yeah, it's about to be crazy. Mm. They don't have a clue. Not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. All right. So, is there anything else you want to cover before we get up out of here, my brother? Um, I'm just hoping we lead by example. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, I, I think, like yeah. I said, after after recapping and thinking about everything, yeah. I can definitely say you definitely on the path of doing that. All right, Hands good. down. All right, we good. Hands down. So, man, we're going to come back with part three. We still got some more stuff that we're going to cover. We ain't going to give you everything at once in, in two sit-downs because it's a lot, as you can see, that comes with being the Beast Mode show. So we're going to come back part three probably next year because we're going to be new, – New location? New location. You know, move, shut down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We got a lot going on. Okay, so cool. part three, man, we're going to come back, new location, and uh, we're going to get into some more in-depth scenes and – Behind the apron with the Beast Mode show. Yeah, let's go. We'll be right back. Let's get it.